Good morning, you happy Paul, Paul, Paul people. Welcome along. It's uh, Tuesday, the 4th of August. Yep, it's getting warm, apparently, and the year is 2020. Well, I've got no script today. Now, Tracy, couldn't be bothered to do one, could you? I had time. You haven't had time. What have you been doing? Cleaning my kitchen. Cleaning the kitchen. Well, the floor was a bit of a mess. And the cupboards. And the, she's cleaned the cupboards as well. See, that's what I was talking about the other day, about bleaching your kitchenware. I know my friend Terry, he loves a bit of bleach in the morning. He likes to scrub everything with bleach. Does. I can't use bleach though. You can't? Why is that? Because of my chest. Because of your chest? It's big enough. What? Nothing. Nothing, see? I've used flash. Flash! Ah! He saved every one of us. Where's the dog then? I've got a cat that's asleep. Yeah, but when, when when you mop the floor, that dog's meant to be with you, isn't he? Oh, he he does the, he does the scrubbing as well, apparently. Yeah, my cat just watched me. He just watched you. Yeah. He didn't offer to help. No. That's boring. Very boring. Well, my friend Joey, you know, Joey and Amelia, yeah. Well, Joey didn't go to bed last night. He stayed up all night. How do I know? Because we've got a chat room on WhatsApp. And him, LB, and Terry, Kevin Jackson, Claire, Curtis, and a few others were chatting to the wee small hours. Now, come six o'clock, when his good lady Amelia got up, it was bouncing off the ceiling. Good morning, rise and shine. But if you used to see him now... He's half dead on the sofa, laying down, and his eyes are like that. Just like that. Looks like he's been in the ring with Mike Tyson. And I said, well, lucky you're not doing your radio show today, because I don't think he'd make it. No, not at all. Anyway, speaking of Amelia, she's going to get a smack bottom when I see her, because she's still got a poorly ankle. Now, I've told her to rest up. Dr. Davison has told her to rest up because, you know, you've only got, well, you've got two ankles, but one on each leg. And I don't want her to get any worse. And she still insists on going out and having her daily exercise of running and walking around the park. All well and good. She said she's got a few podgy pounds to lose. I can't. I can't see that she's fat. I'm fat. Gavin's fat. And Joey's just bald. But... She doesn't need to lose any weight in our eyes. But what does matter is someone's health. I learnt the hard way. I used to go to work knowing I wasn't well. Gavin used to tell me, have the day off. The day off? No. But if I had listened to Gavin and I didn't go, I'd still be there now. I would. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't be because I would have took the redundancy money that was offered to everybody. Because everybody got a nice chunk of uh, cash when the new owners took over. And I think they want their own um, staff from America. They don't want us poms, us English, looking after things, even though we know how to run a, a holiday park properly. Um, well, the weather, it's overcast. I don't think we're going to get any rain today. Well, I hope not. I hope not. There is breaks in the clouds, I can see. It looks quite sunny. And the birds, they have returned to the garden. Uh, that's because my daughter and my lovely wife, Tracy, have put the bird bath back out, filled it with water, and the top part with bird feed, and the bird feeder is uh, filled up as well. But I think you're gonna move that, aren't you? Yes. Why is that? Because it's a bit covered the tree from next door. Oh, right. Well, next door could cut their tree. John, Miriam, cut your no, blooming tree. No, it looks quite nice coming over the fence. Oh. And still, there's another message appeared in the WhatsApp chat room. I've just cleared 45 because oh. they're all rubbish. The I messages. Like one of those, they're called flamingo trees. Was that a bird tree? No, it's a, a thin stem and then the bush at the top and it just grows a thingy. Right. I'd like to get one. Ah, okay. All right, well, she wants one of them. I don't. I don't. Well, I've got the hospital this morning. I've got to go and see the lovely Sarah Ellis, uh, my podiatrist, about my feet. And uh, 
hopefully, hopefully, I'll get a sticker for being a good boy or a lollipop. Oh, I doubt I'll get a lollipop. Not if Dr. Bosom's there because it is a diabetes centre. Speaking of diabetes, I've been very, very well behaved, haven't I? You've been very, very well behaved. Yeah, my blood sugar after breakfast, get this, 6.4, and it's always below 10, which means my legs, in theory, should heal a lot quicker. We will see. We will see. Uh, for dinner tonight, I'm going to do a Gavin here. We're having toad in the hole with mashed potatoes and baked beans. Baked beans are good because they're full of fibre. Mashed potatoes are good. As long as you go, don't go too mad because of the carbs. And the batter mix. Uh, we put onions in ours. Mm, nice. Do like that. Uh, let me know what you're having for dinner in the comment box down below. Don't forget, if you're bored tonight, hop over to Chris Reardon's channel. He's got a quiz on at 8 o'clock. I'm sure he'd like your company. Um, this week, apparently, Gavin and Julie are going to join us because they can't beat us. No, they can't win. It's too far gone for them to catch up. It's 15-1 now. And, uh, well, Joey and Amelia join us each week and they're quite surprised of how knowledgeable us three in this house are, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. Well, I'd like to say something but i don't know what to talk about anymore i'm running out and that's not like me i've normally got lots to say because i've got things wrote down in front of me don't have to moan about anything yet well do you want me to moan do you really want me to moan about something all right then i'll talk i'll moan about something gavin gav from out and about you won't be able to hear it on his videos but when we talk to him on messenger he's got an awful squeal coming from his end now we don't know if it's his hand card or the cables that hold his microphone in place, but it's not there all the time. It's like, Eep. it is annoying. There you go. I've had a moan. Okay. okay, she says. Right. Well, I've talked about nothing and I've got nothing to talk about. But tomorrow morning, I will have something to talk about and I'll have something to moan about. I will. Right. As I said, nip over to Gavin's channel. I'm not going to tell you about that competition because one day somebody might win that watch. But nip over there, give him the thumbs up, tell him I sent you, you know, the big fat ball man, and uh, hit the thumbs up and the subscription button. And I'll tell you what, if you're lucky, I'll talk to you tomorrow morning. Okay? Have a good day.